Good morning, friends.、Uh, today is January 13, 2022, Thursday. I'm at the base of、uh, Mount Yamnuska, and today is my training day for Everest. I'll ask Lori to share the plan for the day. So, good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so share us、uh, the plan for today. Okay, so today is a rehash. And a reminder for you of how to descend ropes efficiently. So,、mm-hmm. we're going to be practicing rappelling, you setting up your rappel device, how to safeguard yourself when you're coming down on a steep rappel.、Mm-hmm. Secondly, reminding and refreshing you on the ascending techniques、uh-huh. using the Petzl ascenders clipped onto fixed rope, how to move safely on fixed rope,、uh-huh. how to bypass anchors. So, that you're always connected. So,、mm-hmm. you're never in a place where you're not connected to the rope.、Mm-hmm. And just to refresh the skill sets that you developed last winter,、mm-hmm. but it's been a while. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a reminder day、okay. to bring back those skill sets to the surface. And if we have enough time,、uh, we'll drive to Banff and get on some ice. Okay. If there's enough time, we'll see how long it takes us to do all this initial stuff on the cliff fans at the、mm-hmm. base of the Amnuska. Okay. Well, <laughs> good. Thank you so much, Lori. You're welcome. And、uh, we'll connect later.、Okay. Thank you. This is a beautiful weather. It's plus 10. So it's a good change in the cold weather that we have had so far. So thank you, friends, for your blessings and wishes. Hello, friends. So, this is the practice area where Laurie has brought me. I can show you where, what we are going to do. Laurie is going to repel me down. I think it's called repelling. Anyway, all we need to do is do this wall, go down all the way to the bottom. You can see some screws up here and here. And Oh, I'm gonna do it in big boots. I think, yeah, I should have brought my crampons. However, Laurie said that no crampons. So I'm sure he would have a good plan in mind. Look at this be- nature's beauty. Weather could not be better. I think it's better than summer times, winter times. It's just so perfect. And this is Laurie coming after exploring some sections. This is the beautiful Mount Chimnuska, the source of energy and power for Laurie and many people, including me. Oh, this is the yellow one, is my brand new rope, which may get used today. We'll see. Thank you, friends. Hello, friends. We just finished with our break one, and Laurie is. Tying the rope.、Uh, of course, there sh- would be technical references to whatever he's doing. In my case, I know nothing, so I'll just. And what his intention is that I'll be using one rope and then I'll be tied to another rope、uh, as a backup. So that way, safety first will remain our. Objective as always, as always, as always. So, and Laurie is all about safety, so that's what I like about him so much. Look at the weather, I am so thankful to the Mother Nature for giving us such wonderful weather today for practice and training. Thank you, friends. Hi, friends.、Uh, Lori is just going to show me how to use ascenders、uh, while coming up. I will be using ascenders a lot of times, or most of the times, on Everest. It's a good learning. Look at how the experts do. Sorry, I'm eating as well. I can zoom in more. He's getting ready. So I'm going to rappel down the same way you did, get it? Sure. I don't know if you guys heard. He says that he's going to rappel down the same way, I mean, same route I took. 
of course in a perfect manner he will repel down so coming to the edge like you did uh -huh. you use a figure eight i'm using a atc okay clip it in lock it off I lost him. Sure, because I can't. Laurie has tied me, if you guys want to see. Right here. Look, I'm tied to this rope, to this tree. So I can't move. Now let's see if I can capture him coming up. And guys, I told you that I can't move any further. Also the length of the video will show that how easy it is to go down this 30 feet wall for lorry. I think it took maybe 15 seconds, which took me forever. Now, he's still tying himself with the ascender. Oh, I can see him. Where did he go? He's tying the other sender to his left foot. Just so you know, it takes so much of upper body muscles, of course, lower body and the core. Yes. You're sitting back with this. Yeah. Standing with this. Yes. I'm secure. Okay. What's your right start, foot? Now I'm going to start climbing. Hands on both. Okay. Slide it up. Yeah. Lean forward. Back and relax. Okay. Slide it up. Lean forward, slide it up. Relax. Uh, Laurie, what does your right foot do most of the times? So does it hold any of the body balance or really, it's just... I can step on a little edge if I want, just like I would kick my front points in. Okay. So watch, toes there, hands here. Okay. Lean back, slide that up. Stand up, relax. Hmm. No struggling, no hanging on with your hands. Lean back, 
lift it up, stand up, slide it, relax, no effort, don't waste your energy, you got a hundred people behind you waiting for you to get off the fixed rope, you got to know how to move on it quickly, okay, not quickly, efficiently, so let's Efficient. look at the sequence, hands on both, hands on both, toe, toe, up, up with left straight. foot, lean back, up, up, straight, lean back, hmm. up, straight, lean back, up, straight, lean back, you know I got an overhang, it's a yes. little tricky, so I'll stand as best I can, slide that up, slide it up, Relax. Whenever you get a chance to stand back and take a break. How do you take a break? Body, 45 degree angle to the slope. Okay. Two thirds of your weight in your harness or three quarters, one quarter or one third of the weight on your feet. Hmm. There's no effort. Okay. I'm not hanging on with my arms goodish. I'm just okay. relaxing. So if you stay like, sorry, finish up with your thought first. Okay, so watch the last little... No, no, before you start, um, I want to recount the sequence. After the rest, you're going to put both hands on the ascenders. Then which foot goes up, right or left? The, the ascender that's attached to your foot is going to go up. Okay. Then you're going to pull in. Yeah, pull in. up straight, slide that up. Okay. This could be four inches longer for me. Okay. It's a little short. And then same thing. I sit back. Okay. Slide it up. Step up. Slide that one up. Yeah, I could I could reach another yes. six inches. Yeah. And that would allow me to move up this very, very quickly. Okay. Okay, so back. Is it, it has come off, Laurie? Watch out. Well, I'm supported by this, so nothing's going to happen. Oh, I see. Okay. And I'll show you a way to make sure it doesn't come off. Step up, slide it. Hey, hey. Now your turn. Not what? <laughs> I was gonna say good job, but it's not a good job. It's a perfect job. That's how I should classify this. No, Thank you so much, Laurie. Because I didn't have the adjustment length. Probably. I know, but still, you did such a good job. Thank you. Now, Laurie is such a good guy. You know, he ties me like uh, one would tie his pet, so I don't move around. Look, I'm tied. I can't move without him releasing me. Thank you so much, Laurie. You're welcome. It was a good learning. I'll try the way you taught me. I'll let you step up there. Sure. Bye. Hello, friends. So Laurie is going to rappel down this wall, which is about 30 feet to 50 feet. I wish I could tell you the exact length of the wall, but you will see it. Okay. I'm just going to uh, wait. You see Laurie. I really like Laurie doing all these stunts. Sorry, not stunts. Mountaineering activities. Look, maybe 10 seconds for... Look, 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 look. As if he's walking on the wall, not already here. Good job, Laurie. Now I'll just ascend it. Now Laurie is gonna ascend the same wall so I can see him from down below here. So first, first, your upper ascender. Upper ascender, we which I was using. That's just going to clip in with a beaner. Okay.
So he's tightened the upper ascender to the max. That's what I see. Yeah. Now your foot ascender. Okay, once you tighten your upper ascender, then you do your foot ascender. Okay, guys. Well, we decided we'd have the carabiner through here. Yeah. Lock it. Lock it. And that beaner has to be below the upper ascender. Now I sit back. Sit back. Get my foot in. Just so you guys know, you know, if your life is not I complicated. Remember. I think we wanted, I'm just gonna attach it the same way you do, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, the knot is inside. Okay, yeah. so, come over here. Okay. So you can see from the side. Okay. All right. Four minutes after. Yeah, 2.15 in my video. Your time starts now. So the point is, whatever time Laurie takes, I'm going to take 10 times of his time and still I'll be fine. That's the deal Laurie and I had. So wish Laurie that he takes as much time as he needs or wants. Laurie, you can as roam around. As I push the upper one, I sit back and relax. Okay. So that's the overhang, my famous overhang. Yes, Laurie, take more breaks. That'll give me more time. I think I'm gonna win this bet. I am going to win the bet, for sure. Laurie has been so kind to me. He's intentionally taking extra time so that I get so much extra time. Yeah. Congratulations, Laurie. Two and a half minutes. Get in. Oh, no, the moon hello, friends. Yeah, I just wanted to capture the bright moon up there. Uh, we just finished our day for the, the training for Everest. I'm going to ask uh, Laurie, how was my day? Uh, how are you, Laurie? I'm fine. Okay, how was the day today? Well, Your I think assessment. it was quite productive because we focused on two things, really. Rappelling mm -hmm. and moving on fixed rope on steep terrain. Mm. And I know you've got how to move on moderate terrain pretty locked down, but we'll test when we go on a waterfall. We'll see if you remember. But I think that's really solid. But you showed real improvement on your rappels today. Mm. You were able to go off a steep edge like this, which most people have a big problem with. You, you never hesitated once. So your rappels are rock solid. You learned how to lock yourself off on a rappel yes. and do without any hands and then do things that you need to do. Uh, and then s grab the rope and then start the rappel again all safely. And the big challenge was figuring out how to move up steep terrain on a set yes. of Petzl ascenders. Yes. And we started off slow, but we spent the whole day doing that. 
And every time you would do that, you'd have to rappel down the cliffs yeah. that we're standing at the top of. And by the end of the day, you were able to come up this 60 foot cliff in seven minutes. You wow. started at 11 or 12, I think it was the mm -hmm. first time. And, uh, and now you knocked it down to seven minutes. So it's not a race to see how quickly you can do it. It's how well do you understand the system that you can do it in an efficient time mm -hmm. and a good efficient time is four to five minutes for mm. 60 feet and uh, without burning your arms out. Yes. And there's a subtle technique to it, which you're getting because I saw you do a number of moves each of the times you came yeah. up where it was no effort. Mm. You stood up, you moved your upper center up, it locked you, you sat back and rested. It took place in a matter of one or two seconds. You had it. The trick now is doing it consistently and not leaning back and having all mm -hmm. the weight on your arms for any more than a split second. So I'd say today was a productive day because these are techniques you're gonna need to know when you're on Everest. Okay. And every minute we spend reinforcing these good habits, the safer you'll be on the mountain. Well, I am very happy with the day, of course, and I like to have the next training session let me repeat what we did sure. today. Because we got so something harder to do when we harder. advance off the straight cliff and then you do a series this of This is the harder side. Okay, guys. So thank you again, Laurie, one more time. Pleasure. And the moon is back. <laughs> so there. Beautiful. Thank you, friends, for your wishes and blessings. And we'll see you again. Bye.